this is Jacob Wood with IndieHangover.com, and this is Epitaph, a very interesting little game uh, created by Wyatt Young, Kaylin Zhu, and John Mormon. Um, it's a game that we first saw at the this year's Boston Festival of Indie Games, and for me it was the most impressive and most exciting game that I saw there. Epitaph is a game about spirits, and it's a game that plays two different concepts against each other and really comes out the better for it. So in this video, uh, since Epitaph just went on Steam Greenlight, I wanted to show off how to play Epitaph and some of the character information. Each character in Epitaph has four actions, a uh, left and right move and an up and down ability. So here we're gonna move Azim to the right with a B. Easy enough. A left move doesn't move you backwards, but turns you in this case. Now that you're facing left, I can use a left move to move to that spot. So now I'm gonna move into the occupied space of another character because they're in the spot I'm gonna to move to. As such. Azim seems to be the kind of uh, starter character in a lot of ways for Epitaph and executes a pretty standard move. Attack the guy in front of you. Does two damage. Now your up ability is dislocate which attacks to your rear and then moves that opponent in front of you. So you're changing spots with them. Here's where things get interesting. In Epitaph, all actions are performed in real time, but have a cooldown, so they can be chained together in a sequence, which you'll see shortly. So now we're dealing with the cooldown. And there's that. So now we can switch between characters with our D-pad. As I was saying, Epitaph is played in real time, but everything's performed sequentially. So right now, we're gonna perform two actions between to execute this Scarecrow. So we've got another guy here. So we're gonna use A, A. You're probably starting to see some of the fun. So you win a game of Epitaph by capturing an enemy ghost, and you have to capture six of them. So we have to use Dislocate to kill this guy. Ah, but every time you die, you level up. So this Scarecrow is now level two, shown by the two lines, and with a higher level, they get more hit points and their abilities deal more damage. So each character has a kind of special condition that can be met. So for this particular character, Execute gains your level bonus if you're hitting a target that has less than full health. Because Ezeem is level 1, it's going to do 3 damage instead of 2. Now that you're level 4, it does 6 damage. Okay, so now we get to the heart of things. This is a puzzle. So we've got to perform an immolate, an execute, and an inhale in a specific order to kill everything, to kill this scarecrow. But we have to enter each ability before the previous one is uh, runs out, or else we'll cancel the, the chain. Oh, I think I did that wrong. Ah, I did do that wrong. So here we're going to go boom, boom, and there it is. So those are the basics. I also wanted to make sure that I show off the gorgeous art of the different characters.
Uh, if you want to read the excellent little bits of lore for all the different spirits and look at their abilities, pause the video. The art style is absolutely fantastic. It's really low poly, very colorful uh, art. And all of these spirits are really, really cool looking. So that's kind of some of the basics of Epitaph. If you'd like to see more of it in action and uh, learn a little bit more about the game, then I encourage you to check out the game's Steam Greenlight page. It's currently uh, looking for votes on Steam Greenlight, and if you'd like to see this in your Steam library, then please vote for it.